Hello, my name is Matias Capote. I'd like to welcome you guys to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about Onslaught. And uh, we're going to focus on certain villains, the Sentinels. I really love these guys. They're so ridiculous, but... <laughs> have these gigantic humanoid purple robots. <laughs> it's so stupid, but I just love these guys when they pop up. An Onslaught tie-in, as I said before. I have a real soft spot for that crossover. I know a lot of people don't like Onslaught. I do build up to that crossover and before i get into the story sorry like sorry this one's in spanish i have the the english version somewhere it's not in the best shape the weird thing is like the, the versions like, that were published in in mexico and spain for some reason are much higher quality compared to the ones that came out in the states i never understood why they're always much more durable uh and the pages are much higher quality and here I want to talk about something that really pisses me off. It happens a lot when you buy comic books outside of comic book stores. They stick the price on the cover. And when you want to peel that price off, it's going to cause some damage. I also remember people putting prices on comic books at garage sales. I hate when this happens. So that aside, we're going to focus on the Sentinels. I love these guys. This is actually X-Men issue of number 55, if I'm correct. So Onslaught takes over New York City as part of his plan to take over the world or whatever the hell he wants to do, whatever <laughs> evil plan he has up his sleeve. Instead of using ninjas or soldiers or, or cyborgs or zombies, no, he uses an army of sentinels to take over the city. Avengers and X-Men having to team up, battling against these giant robots. And couple of pages you see the sentinels do some weird stuff like this what the hell is this guy perched on this building for <laughs> to deal with this sentinel standing on the top of a building and the other one's walking between his legs or this one looking at the statue of liberty but the thing is they're taking over the city for onslaught they're destroying all the bridges everything's really epic we have the the avengers X-Men and the Fantastic Four thinking to herself, what the hell are we going to do with this situation? Prior to this, Xavier said Onslaught kidnaps Franklin Richards, so the Fantastic Four want to get their son back. They're sort of freaking out. Sort of bent out of shape with the X-Men. It's like, hey, didn't you see that your leader was going to go full-on evil? Uh, we have also the introduction of Joseph, the Magneto. Well, at, at this moment, we didn't know if he was the real deal or not, but he's a Magneto clone. Sorry for the spoiler <laughs> about that. Here, I just realized that the thing has four toes for some reason. <laughs> and one of the things I really loved about Onslaught, I remember seeing him for the first time. I was really impressed with his character design. I, uh, Onslaught in this story is trying to, he's going to try to feed off all of uh, Richard's uh, mutant powers to create this gigantic, gigantic citadel. She also gets into the Xavier protocols. Something, uh, something that was like super terrible that Xavier did. Like if any of the X Men would go hey, well, he had plans how to kill every single one of them, even himself. If see, he ever went rogue. So Iron Man has his hands on this Xavier protocols. He's going to create a device that's going to make him immune to. Onslaught's powers. So as this issue goes on, we see all the heroes taking down Sentinels one by one. Now I was thinking to myself, this wasn't the first time I actually saw Sentinels. I remember reading this like weird one shot that I'll probably do a video about when I find it, where Abomination takes control of a Sentinel and tries to take down the X-Men. And as also that weird one shot is the first appearance of Squirrel Girl too. <laughs> it was a really weird affair. And the first time after that I saw the Sentinels in action was also in the X-Men animated series. The first two episodes really focused on the Sentinels. And I thought they were really awesome. And I loved the sound effects they gave the Sentinels when they walked. And <laughs> it was so cool. So Onslaught blasts the city with the EMP, sending all of New York and all the <laughs> cities around it. All the way back to the Stone Age. To my, I got thinking to myself, I wonder if he took out all the Sentinels too. Preview of the next evolution of Onslaught. And um, I'm going to just leave this video here. It's, it's a brief and stupid video, like all of my videos. But I just really wanted to focus on the Sentinels. And 
I hope you guys like this video and see you guys next time. Bye.